name is Patrick. And if you look at right now, Squid Game, that's a series, a Korean series, which is doing the round across the world. Even Zeth Pozos, which is a competitor of Netflix, uh, has commented on it saying that, okay, Netflix has got it right. Uh, I did watch the whole series. Okay, and from that, I've come across with 10 learnings maybe that could help people writing the MBA entrance examinations. Okay. So it is not necessary that you watch the series to understand the learnings. But yes, uh, from that particular series, which is right now one of the most sought after series across the globe, uh, these were the learnings which I talk about. So there were six games in the series. So I will put one learning per game. Apart from that, maybe four bonus learnings from the whole series. So if you have seen the series, great, you will be able to relate it. If you are not able to see it, if you have not seen it, perfectly all right, just focus on the learnings because that could be quite relevant as far as tax preparation is concerned or the MBA entrance exam preparation is concerned. So let's look at the first game, okay, the green light, red light. So what happened in the game was people stop, stop suddenly because people were short, people were killed and suddenly there was a stoppage, which was a complete stop. Okay, And people stayed there out of panic. I mean, complete panic, no one was moving around. At that point of time, some people tried moving forward. Okay, and because of that, others went about and completed the game. So it's very important to understand it is important to try. Normally, we are afraid of a lot of things. We fear, we fear that we will fall and therefore we don't try. And that is the biggest problem with a lot of students with regards to preparation for exam. They don't want to try try different things, you will try writing mocks, they feel, oh, if I write a mock, my scores will go down. It's important to try because only if you try will you be able to overcome fear and go forward and complete your goal or achieve your goal. That's the first learning which is there. I mean, do face your fear or keep trying, experiment and try to face your fear and go ahead as far as possible. Now let's look at the second game. Second game, if you look at a game as such, I mean, people were trying to remove that sugar-coated uh, biscuit or sugar-coated uh, food item from the whole aspect. What did they do? At the particular stage, they were finding it difficult. They looked around and they saw one person licking the whole biscuit or whatever it is. And they started learning from it and they also achieved the goal. So the learning out here is learn from the best or learn from people who are better than you or who are trying better. So if you feel you're stalled or if you feel nothing is happening, it's not going ahead. So it's very important to look around you, see people who are doing really good and learn from them. And that is where you will improve as such. You cannot say that I will only focus on my aspect and I will not learn from people around me. Learning is very important and especially learning for people who are really good and done that, that could help you to achieve greater things. The second important learning. Now let's look at a third game. Okay, if you look at a third game with a tug of war game. And the team which won its was one of the weakest team. The weakest team with you know two or three girls, three girls, one very old man out of ten people, and the other team had all ten men strong. So it was very clear that the other team would win as compared to first. But still the first team won. Why was that? Three things that I would say. Strategy, method and keeping your cool mind. So if you look at old man suggested a good strategy to win the game. He said we, I never lost the game because I had a great strategy for tug and tug of war. So they started with a strategy. Okay, a strategy becomes very important no matter how weak you are. Okay, or no matter if you are really weak, you can still win if you follow a proper strategy or still perform better than what your capability is if you follow a proper strategy. Strategy becomes very important and that is true for the MBA entrance exam as well. First, second is right method. So you implement the strategy properly and then go ahead. That could also help you to improve so right method. And third is keeping the cool mind. So look at just at the point when they are about to lose. Okay, the person suggested, let's move forward three steps and then pull it. Worked. And he did it, that method, right at the time when they were about to lose. 
do people opposite like that you went about doing it so keeping a cool mind especially when you are tracking the examination it's very important to be relaxed though you know there is a lot of stress involved you know there is a lot of things involved it's important to be relaxed and try to perform well third one okay now we come to game 4 the fourth learning which is there if you look at a game where they're playing marbles or throwing the first time, first half of the game they went about you know with the marbles where they had to select odd or even but then the person realized he was losing he suggested a change of game where he was better and then he started winning the game so the learning out here is know your strengths and work on your strengths we sometimes focus too much on our weakness but knowing your strengths is important and this is true in life as much as in entrance exam because major of your marks are going to come in your strengths so don't ignore your strengths completely work on your strengths as well because that is where you are going to get your marks as such this is true for the interview preparation where you try to drive the interview towards your strength or maybe to some extent to the entrance exam as well so know your strength and try to always direct everything towards your strength where you can then win the game fifth the learning that we are looking at out here is experience helps so if you look at the game was about you know going on the glass there was a tempered glass and a normal glass and there was one person who knew who had worked in the glass industry knew the difference between tempered glass and a normal glass same with in preparation for entrance if you write enough mocks and if you prepare really well that experience will help you to understand okay what is the difficult question what are the easy questions what is the strategy to be used in different scenario practice and experience of writing mocks will definitely help you to improve so focus on that in terms of writing enough mocks practicing enough and knowing what is right what is wrong so experience definitely helps in the last game the sixth game if you look at the the winner of the tournament he almost lost he got stabbed on the leg and he was beaten up and still he came up i mean he basically was beaten up completely he was down and still in the end he came up and won don't give up till the end that's the story no matter how much you feel you're down don't give up in the end i seen this a lot of time in the actual examination as well people give up during the exam itself they feel no i am not done well and i will not be able to get a call or do well in the exam but when the results come out they realize that actually they were doing well it was only the paper was tough therefore they felt they couldn't do well it's very important that don't give up till the last minute till the exam is over don't give up same with your preparation don't give up till the end people lot of people give up out of most of the people who write the examination the very few who actually complete their preparation till the examination day most of the people give up and therefore the competition is comparatively lower to get into top colleges why not because the number of students writing is less because number of serious candidates who are prepared for the exam is less so don't give up till the end no matter what So apart from this, there are four more learnings which are there. Okay, four bonus learnings let me put it across. First, form teams. I mean, when you're preparing for entrance examination, do it's an individual game. So where you write your own exam and go about it. But forming groups does help. Where you learn from others, you share your knowledge. It gives psychological help. A lot of benefit. I remember a person who. Uh, a student of mine who really performed badly in a mock just before the exam, his worst performance. He went talked to his friend, I mean talked up, put off his mind, helped him to relax, and went to the exam and scored ninety nine point nine two in CAT. Amazing percentage. Why? Because he had a group of friends to support. Remember, somewhere a team helps in psychology support, not only in psychology but maybe helping you in your preparation studies. Wherever I've seen people preparing in groups, proper study preparation, serious preparation. all of them benefit as seen as a first level second learning bonus learning stay focused keep your goal in your mind so if you look at the, all the people were completely focused that i had to win the focus on the goal is very important i mean keep your focus very clear towards your goal don't look around and don't try to meddle into others activities etc learn from others that's a different matter help others that's also a different matter but keep your goal in place I and mean, you should be very clear what are you there for and what is the end goal in place okay third it's important to share help others be considerate okay if you look at in this particular game also and and otherwise 
if you help others there is a chance people will help you off and you will see so many times in the games where one person has helped others uh, the mean actor he helped that old man by uh, removing his jacket and putting it around him and that consideration definitely helped him the old man helped him in the marble game though he would have lost but he helped him in the marble game to improve okay so that is one more aspect about the whole thing in terms of be considerate look at the other one the person who was a bad guy he went against that girl and didn't help her okay and it came back to him where a girl came and you know destroyed him in the in the second last game so it's very important to be considerate as far as possible okay and the last learning okay is do anticipate what is coming next but be prepared for the change if you look at a game for pairs two people going off okay they expected to be a team game where both will help each other but what came across is that they both had to work against each other not a very good scenario in terms of though we normally predict things and that happens every time in the examination we try to predict oh the paper will be easy the paper will be tough for this type of question will come it is normally that happens in a paper that comes in the actual exam is quite different than what you predicted and that so that is very important to take care of you need to understand that though you can predict anticipate but it's very important to know and be prepared for the change there is always a change possible and be prepared for it therefore when you go for the exam try and keep your open mind okay don't try to be optional that this is what should be in the exam try to be in the open mind and that should help so these are the 10 learnings that i put across as far as the game is concerned the squid game so and i think all this what i talked about learnings is quite relevant and important as far the mb entrance exam is concerned so look at these learnings and i'm sure it will help you in terms of your preparation thank you